Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, this is the Pilgrim and welcome to my gun shop and shooting range. The gun shop, originally I wanted to build a new design for a circle base, you know, for the, the like a perfectly round design. And then I was sort of wondering what to build on top of it. And there's, there's enough room for like a small base in there or whatever, but I thought I'd had a few ideas about you know, building the shooting range for a while. So I thought the gun shop would be like a nice addition to it. I uh, built some like custom signs and things for it, just advertising the guns and stuff. And then just put like a load of little signs around advertising, you know, how much bullets are worth and stuff like that. And about thieves being used as display pieces. <laughs> there was nowhere to really like show off the guns, you know, to have them on racks or anything like that, but I thought this worked pretty well. Yeah, so this section here you can build like all the bullets and weapons and everything you need to do. It's got a, it's a bit of a, a role playing build this. And then there's a main desk here, so you can have all your blueprints stored and weapons and things to sell over the counter. The actual build itself is not difficult, it's just a round base. The roof can be a bit, a bit awkward putting the little bay windows in and stuff. But they look good when they're finished and I use them as like just small bedrooms. I could use them as storage, whatever you want. Views are pretty good from this place as well. And just put all the catwalks in there, you can sort of walk right way around it. If you just put like one set of ladders up, you could fill that whole section there with ceilings and just have it as another full level. I use the thatch because when you're building these round bases, um, the, the thatch roofs have a lot of like overhang, you know, on the textures. So they connect up really well and I think they look a bit better than the wood in the stone. I've just got other things like on display in the shop. Cannons and little bits and pieces. Yeah, it was a pretty fun thing to build really, just using a bit of imagination and all still looks pretty rustic, got like a Wild West sort of feel to it. I've got a build tutorial for the um, first part of the base, you know, just the round section at the bottom and then a full build tutorial for the gun shop and I'm working on one for the shooting range now, that's where we are. The, looks like a bit of a cabin out of the front. And then that long section houses all the, the shooting range and the targets. And then this bit of the front, this is where you come to buy your targets and get set up, rent your weapons or whatever. Got them all on display so you can pick which ones you want. Just some daft ones there on the side. Built like a little till and another like little counter. There's electricity running from that generator right the way through the whole shooting range and then over into the gun shop as well. Because this needed a lot of wiring and, and things for it. And now here's the fun bit. Got all the bays set up for your shooting range. Got all the targets down there on the um, canvases. They're easy enough to make, so if you want to like pull them down and then put them back up, you know, for different competitions. And the good thing is they, they get bullet holes in them as well. So you can definitely tell what you're shooting at. I was thinking it'd be good for like um, events on, on you know, servers or just like in, in your own little tribe. Just having shooting competitions. Good for practice as well, tag acquisition and stuff like that. It's just a good distance away as well, I think, for like aiming and everything. I've never been on a proper shooting range, seen plenty of them on TV and YouTube. But um, I shot some Beretta shotguns, been clay pigeon shooting a few times. And I shot an AK-47 when I was in Russia as well, when I was younger that was fun. But yeah. I've always been fascinated with guns. Have to see how this YouTube thing pans out to make enough money I'll move to America and build my own shooting range. <laughs> yeah, this is the good pit as well, watch this. I did it so any of these consoles work, so the ones behind and the ones in the bays work. You tap it in and it opens all the doors and windows up and then there's more targets behind there. Put some more um, people on the taxidermy stands. 
It's like when you open it up, they're all stood there with guns and stuff. Got like a ghillie suit one, some with sh uh, one with shotgun armor on and stuff like that. And then behind the window at the bottom, I put another target in as well. So when it opens up, you can sort of do speed shooting, you can hit the target dead on first as soon as the door opens. And if you've got a few people playing as well, um, like any any one of the consoles can control it. I have to put quite a lot of lighting behind there. Um, I'll have a run down there and show you in a minute what it looks like behind, you know, how it's all set up. Um, just so you could see like all the targets prop when the doors opened. And I put some um, spotlights on the left and right as well, shining straight onto the targets. Yeah, I think it'd be a good place to practice. You know, you could come in here and learn to shoot with um, control bursts and stuff like that. Instead of just spamming everything with bullets. If you've got any really trigger happy tribe mates. But no, I, I really enjoy building this thing, it looks so cool. doors and the windows that open up to show the targets they'll work from basically any of them consoles that are attached to the walls as long as they've got the same code in them as the doors and windows they'll, they'll open. Up on the second floor here I built like a bit of an observation deck so you can come up and like watch the shooting going on keep keep score for people and things. down into the base who's shooting. And then back here this is, I just did this in a bit of a storage place and things for targets and stuff like that. But here, this is the main bit. You sort of see how I set everything up. Got like I had to put a table on that wall next to that wall there and then put the taxidermy stand on that and then the the dude with the gun on top of that just to get them at the right level, at the right height for the doors. So I've sort of built in sections going down. I've recorded all this for the how to build tutorial, so I'll show you how to do it all. And then a couple of the bottom ones had to go sort of underneath the floor. You see down there how I built uh, all the structure for it and everything, it's just loads of pillars in a big line. They're hold, holding everything up. So yeah, if you just have to drop the taxidermy stand just below the ground so that the character was in the right spot. If you didn't, they were too high in the doorways. There's a bit of a better look at everything set up. See, it did need a lot of lighting as well. That's it, these stairs here. Um, run up to the roof so if you could use that as a bit of a landing pad but there's a lot of bullets flying around so it might not be a great idea there we go used a similar idea um, with the bottom of this base to get all the stone walls you know to be sort of level into the ground because there's no uh, clips not active or anything like that but I'll show that in the build tutorial There we go. It's just near the coast, not far from the green orb. I think I've got the, the quadrant somewhere. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. The custom signs and, and stuff and all the, the custom targets that are made. Um, I can put the PNG files for them on to Dropbox if anybody wants to download them. Yeah, and then what I'll do, I'll put them onto my Discord. I'll just put a link to the Dropbox and a bit of an explanation as to what it is. And you can just go straight down and download them if you want them for the, if you're going to build the place. I didn't pick the best spot for this build to be honest. Could have done with flatter land really, but I just wanted to show off how to build on uneven ground. So I'll get to work on the build tutorial for the shooting range. It's not a difficult thing to build. The actual structure is not anyway, it's just setting up the doorways and the, the targets and stuff. But it is definitely a fun thing. 
and the whole build tutorial is finished for the gun shop so I'll get that, get that out in the next day or so. Right, thanks for watching, I hope you like the whole design and everything in the base. Um, yeah, thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing the videos around, really appreciate that. Yeah, and you can hit the notification bell, just keep an eye on what I'm building, it's usually something new every week. If you like the building, got any questions or anything, just leave me a comment. Okay, catch you later.